Princess Divine is the oh, oh, promotion.
submit any good news or any important information, you can go to our email and submit it by Wednesday by 5 p.m. Amen. Amen. You gotta do it all over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the word, right? Yeah. Hey. Oh, am I supposed to introduce myself? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I sound like a boss. Okay. Hallelujah. Um, I just want to uh, reiterate a few of those announcements. When we go to um, Church Under the Bridge on the 4th, we are preparing the meal. So I will need some assistance on that day. I, we will have to be there between 4 and 5 o'clock. So if anyone is available to assist me in preparing the meal, I would greatly appreciate it. We're only going to do hot dogs and um, chili dogs and chips and of course they're, they're going to have salad and whatnot. So I'm going to need someone to go with me to help me prepare meals. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Also, um, on August 1st, that when we have that um, women's celebration. August 2nd. Amen. Amen. August 1st? 2nd. 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 August 2nd. The men leaving on the 1st. Amen. <laughs> uh, we're going to have an awesome time in the Lord. Amen. So please invite someone to come out and, and join us on that day. We've had a long weekend. Y'all yeah, 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 that's all right. <laughs> Take your time. We've had a long weekend. God has truly blessed over the over the revival, and I'm just blessed out. And I'm like, okay, my mind is just going, and I'm like, okay, where are we going? Our women's meeting is August the first. Yeah, Saturday. Remember? Yeah, we're gonna we gonna have church that whole weekend. Oh no, no, I'm saying I just didn't come over. Yeah, okay, my my bad. Yeah, we're gonna have a women's meeting on August the first. This week. Oh. As well, which will be at my home. So again, August the first and August the second, later we are we will be together that whole weekend while our man is away. Amen. 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 Anything else I may have forgotten? Yep. Yeah. Amen. Come on, we give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Are you ready for the word? Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. One more thing. We have the revivalist that was here over the weekend. She left her book here. So if nobody got a chance to purchase this book, we have this book for sale back there on the table. It's $12.99. So if you would like one of these books, amen, please um, see myself or pastor to make sure, you know, because um, we have to see her. Oh, no, it's a money for a book, amen, praise Jesus. So they are $12.99, amen. The title is From Barren to Barren. Uh, the Power of a Testimony is by Gina Redwood Lloyd. Amen. An awesome woman of God. And I'm, tr I'm sure that that book will bless your soul. Amen. 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 So they're back there on the table and seat myself for pastor if you would like to purchase me. Amen. 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 Again, here we go. We're ready for the word. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. First, we're going to have our youth minister come up and give us a few words. Amen. She's dear to my heart because she's my daughter. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And she is going to break the bread of life and share with us a few minutes, amen, as to what God has given her. All right. You. All right. So amen. please support her. You know, I've seen her go from here to there and up and down, around, about to bring up, to make full circle and bring her back to here. Amen. 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 God, yes, he is, and he will keep us if you want to be kept. Amen. 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 He sure will. Glory yes, to God. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce to some and present to others my very own daughter, Miss Tierra Maya Thomas. Amen. Amen. I, I always like 
like to start off um, with a song. So if you guys know the song, my name is not that hard. Amen. Jesus, you are the lover of my soul. Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from the miry clay. You placed my feet upon a rock, and now I know. Um, about two years ago, 
And again, just things seem to come one after another. Uh, I broke up with my first fiance, then my best friend died, and then I you know, got back in another relationship before God told me to. And there was turmoil in that relationship. So, you know, it seems like everything comes so much at one time, but we all know that God knows what we can bear. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've had the cops yeah. called before. Mm -hmm. I've been to jail before. <laughs> I, <laughs> I've been, I've, I've been through it. Um, <laughs> um, hey, that's what it's all about. But God. But God. But God. But God. But God. But God. Yes. 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 That's right. But God. Now, I went to therapy, but let me tell you, I asked God, I said, you know, I, I want to go to therapy, not too many people want to go, but I, send me somebody who's going to speak into my life. Yeah. Yeah. And the therapist I found, she was a Christian, she mm -hmm. totally understood everything I had to say. She understood the, the Christian walk and trying to be right, yeah. and then also having your flesh yeah. kind of messing everything up yeah. pretty, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. And so, you know, I found that uh, therapist that helped me through a lot of those things. But do you think the therapist was the one who delivered me? No. no. <laughs> you get to a point where you're so sick and tired. Yeah, you're yeah, so yeah, sick yeah. and tired of being yeah, sick and tired. tired. Yeah. Yes. I pray to God, I'm so tired. Yeah. I'm so tired of being upset. Yeah. I'm so tired of being depressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired of feeling like I am nothing. Like yeah. I'm tired of it. You know, I'll be saved if I, you know, if I go to a church on the bridge every Sunday. Hmm. It's not by our words. It's not about us. And a lot of times we want to think that it's because of me. It's not about you. It's never been about you. Like I said, get over yourself. You're important. But you're important in God's eyes. And you think you're, you know you're important and you know who you are in God. You know that you are a king. You are a queen. You are what God has called you to be. Then you're good. And you have already seen God first. But if you think you're all that and you're the finest person ever and you don't put God in there, then you ain't. <laughs> I mean, you might be cute. That's fine. You might be him. That's fine. But if you don't have God in there, then uh, all that, uh, all that beautifulness is gonna go straight to hell. <laughs> that makeup's gonna go right off the face. So. <laughs> but don't think that for one second that anything that happens around your life. Is we is because of you or about you, and in my life, there I I mean I get glory to God for everything that I have obtained in my life, and I tell people straight up that I don't have a house and this car and this job because of me. Yes, I got a master's degree, but who brought me through that master's degree? Oh, all right. You know, oh, yes, I have a master's yeah. degree and I have all this and that, but who brought me through that? Those times yeah, that yeah, I yeah, had. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to do this. Yeah, I'm just gonna get yeah. this class. <laughs> Like, who can be through that? God can be through that. Yeah. Every single part of your life, God is in it. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have to give the glory to God for everything. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. said, you got to put yourself aside. Now, I didn't do it. I, I didn't get that house. I, right. I, don't, I don't even think I qualify for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I qualify. I don't qualify for the job I have. I don't qualify for none of this stuff. yourself it most of the things are not as serious as you're making it okay <laughs> nothing is as hard as you're making it that's your that's, that's your head yeah. yeah all right deliverance is is easy deliverance is instantaneous if you will accept it amen. if you're ready for it amen. if you want it if amen. you are yearning for it if you are yeah. if you are so empty that you're ready to be filled yeah. Yeah. It, it can happen Amen. 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 Amen.
this since I was twelve. They been saying it. Yeah. They been asking God. Yeah. So what do you what do you think was wrong? Yeah. It was me. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I was in the way. I was in the way of my blessing. Yeah. I was yes. in the way of my deliverance. Did it take steps? Did I have to do this, 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 and that to be delivered? Yes. No. Oh, Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Because I've been praying for it so many times. I've been down on that altar crying. I've had people covering me. I had all this going on, but what happened? My flesh. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yes. I didn't want it. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it for myself. I did not want it for myself. You can pray for me. You can slap me upside the head and say, girl, get it together. I didn't want it. That's right. But that moment that you wanted. I wanted it. Yeah. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. 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 Instantaneously delivered. Yes. Yeah. And you know, other people around me are like, well, how do you know you're delivered? What if you go back? What if you nah. start doing this? I'm like, no. Nope. No. What if you Let me tell you, it's it change. Yeah. It's real. Be yeah. It's real. Absolutely. Because I know how it was. I was crazy. I was off my mind. I was. Mad, I was yeah. you know trying to kill people like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but so you don't have to think that oh I need to uh, first read my Bible, I need to pray, then I need to go to the altar and get prayed for, and then uh, when I go home, I, I guess I'm gonna try to live right. Like you know, when you want that deliverance, you know that you want it and you can get it. When you are open to it, amen. That's the, that's the short and sweet of my testimony, amen. Um, so, what I'm going to go to another scripture here. Um, it says in First Corinthians nine twenty six through twenty seven. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. So I, I so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep my I keep under my body and bring it unto subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I should myself be cast away. The point in this scripture is that I bring my body unto subjection. I bring my flesh under, under subjection. And a lot of people don't know what that means because I, I'm all up in my feelings right now. I want to feel like I'm mad at you and you did something to me or I'm going to feel depressed because this is just a terrible situation this is what I should feel yeah. mm. but you have to bring that flesh under subjection the flesh isn't just uh, you know partying and drinking and doing all this stuff the flesh is also your mind and your mindset and how how you react to things yes, right. Right. so everybody thinks about you know all these other things that I need to take care of yeah. and they forget about their mind and they forget about uh, how much the mind does affect you yes, it does. and it affects you so greatly if you think that you change your mind then that will change your action yeah. yeah. right? so you have to bring it under subjection which is not easy you, I mean it's not an easy thing to do no, every day nice. but be mindful that you need Good to God. bring it under subjection yeah. so every single time it comes up you remember, God, you want me to bring my mind under subjection. Yes. Um, one of the things that I know for sure is that we're our own worst enemy. Yeah. You know, Amen. It, it's always about me. It's always about how I feel. And God is in the background like, what about me? Like, are you thinking about me? You know, if you think on these things, you'll be all right. But we all get so wrapped up in our Yep. Yeah. We get so wrapped yeah. up in who we are, how we look. Uh, what if people think this about me? I don't know if I can do it, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, I don't know if I can do it when the word clearly says that I can do all things through oh, yeah. Christ. That's right. But if you don't accept that word that I can do <laughs> all things through Christ, you're not going to do it. Yeah. You're not going to do it. Amen? Amen. So Amen. feelings are, are temporary. And they're controlled by the flesh. So when you think of these temporary things, these feelings that you have, and then you think about your eternal life, what's the point of 
putting so much energy into these temporary feelings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you are standing in the way of your own blessing. And it and it's like I said, it's not about you, it's not about what you want, it's about the kingdom, amen. Yeah, amen. So Matthew six and thirty three says, But seek ye first the first. kingdom of God first. and his righteousness, yeah. and all these things will be added unto you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say seek yourself. <laughs> it doesn't say seek God in the way that you want to seek. Yeah. It doesn't say I'm gonna seek God on Sunday and maybe Wednesday sometime. Is to seek ye first uh -huh. at yeah, all yeah. times. Seek ye first. Yeah, amen. So I talk to the team all the time about you know if you put God first, then everything will be fine. I mean, yep. no matter what you're going through, all the hell up. I mean, sorry, we talk about that. Yeah, everybody, we're not going to talk about all that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. 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 All that First, <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I, I believe that I needed to go through it. There was a purpose and there was a plan for me. Right? Absolutely. In the midst of it, I didn't understand. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, in the midst of it, I didn't understand. I was thinking, God, that you know, if I'm your daughter and I'm trying my best that I can right now, then why? Why do I have to go through this? Why do I have to feel this way? Why do I have to, you know, cut myself and be on pills and stuff to be normal? Normal. Normal. Right? Yeah, got gotcha. you. But there's a plan and a purpose yeah, to it. Yeah, that's right. And bring if I brought that flesh under subjection, the the damage might not have been as much, but the process still would have been there. Yeah. I would have taken it a different way. Right? Amen. So Amen. understanding that there's a plan and there's a purpose for my life and these things make you stronger. Yeah. And I, I, I feel stronger. I feel like a better person because those things that I went through, you know, they're kind of tough, but I learned. Yeah. I learned from those things. And that's Amen. the most important thing is that when God brings you through or he takes you through something that there's a greater purpose behind it. Yes, it is. Yes. There's a reason why yeah. you're Fair enough for something. Going through. You know, God's not going to take you through something just and for just fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. I just want to watch them. So. Yes. <laughs> that's not God. That's not how God works. That's not how God thinks. He's not going to just take you through something just because. Now, yes, we do put ourselves in situations that we shouldn't be in. Yeah. Yes. We do, you know, create situations that we shouldn't be in. But there's still a plan. God already knew we were going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. that you know, I was going to clubs or drinking and whatever. Like, you're a new, like, all right, go ahead, go learn your lesson. Um, yeah, just remember that there's a plan of purpose for everybody's life. You can never feel like there's nothing for you. Um, even when you don't see it, our, our vision is not as far as God's. Yeah. We yeah. see right here. Yeah. I see this right here. I see I see maybe like five years in my future this is what I want to do. God sees your whole entire life. Yep. And if you trust him yeah. and you know that you know yeah. that God has you and God is going to make you the person that you are supposed to be then you'll be alright. When I was I think it was when I was 16 I had a prophecy spoken over my life and um, you know when I heard it I was like no I don't I don't think that's going to happen. I'm too messed up. I, I got too much going on. I'm up here hyperventilating outside. I can't get my emotions under control. I'm you know, just out of control. But that was still in the, that was still there. That prophecy, that, that word that was spoken over my life is still in the back of my head. So I knew that I'd be okay through anything. And with my, the prayer of my parents and the prayer of people around me, I've, I've always had it covering no matter where I'm here. Yes. 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 Praise Jesus. Uh, so another scripture that I want to read is Second Timothy one and nine. Okay. It says, Who hath saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given <coughs> to us mm -hmm. in Jesus Christ before the world began. Mm -hmm. So in that, it, it's not according to what we do. 
it's not according to, um, you know, I'll be saved if I, you know, if I go to a church on the bridge every Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's not by our works. It's not about us. And a lot of times we want to think that it's because of me. It's not about you. It's never been about you. Yeah, like right. I said, get over yourself. Yeah. You're important, but you're important in God's eyes. That's and you that's think you're, you know you're important, and you know who you are in God. You know that you are a king, you are a queen, you are what God has called you to be, then you're good. And you have already seen God first. But if you think you're all that, and you're the finest person ever, and you don't put God in there, then you ain't. I mean, you might be cute. That's fine. You might be handsome. That's fine. But if you don't have God in there, then uh, all that, uh, all that beautifulness is gonna go straight to hell. So. <laughs> that makes us go lower at all the things. So, <laughs> but don't think that for one second that anything that happens around your life. Is be, is because of you or about you? And in my life, there I I mean I get born to God for everything that I have obtained in my life. And I tell people straight up that I don't have a house and this car and this job because of me. Yes, I got a master's degree, but who brought me through that master's all degree? Right. All right, you know, all Yes, I have a bachelor's yeah. degree and I have all this and that, but who brought me through that? Those yeah. times that I thought yeah. give him the praise. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like who kept me through that? God kept you through that. Yeah. Every yeah. single part of your life, God is in it. Yeah. So yeah. You have to give the glory to God for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, you gotta put yourself aside. I, I didn't do it. Uh, I didn't get that house. I, right. I don't. I don't even think I qualify for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I qualify. I don't qualify for the job I have. I don't qualify for none of this stuff. God, 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 is easy. Deliverance is instantaneous if you will accept it. Right. If you're ready right. for it. Right. If you yeah. want it. If you are yearning for it. If you are yeah. if you are so empty that you're ready to be filled yeah. Yeah. It, it can happen like that. Yeah. So don't be yeah. discouraged. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 stay on the path you on will surpass any of us in this room. Amen. And that's what we desire for you to do. You should be better and we're going to do our part as the adults to raise the bar so high that you continue to have something to strive for. So I want to say that public, I thank you all for what you did. Uh, continue, continue to remember the tags. Like I told you all the TV titles. Remember the task. I know it was a funny story, but the task was to take a shot. <laughs> Not to get distracted and everything else and fight each other and getting all up in your flesh and thinking about you. And that's just a small thing kids do. Everything. But keep the focus on Christ. Pray for y'all. I'm going to pray for y'all real quick and then we're going to dismiss. But I want to acknowledge you openly for uh, what you all did. And I really do appreciate it. You know, I, I talk to y'all all the time. And I told y'all, hey, as long as you take it seriously, I got your back. Even if you don't take it seriously, I'm going to say something to you. I'm going to still have your back. But, you know, we have led another way. Amen. 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 It's a special prayer for Zion. She is testing in the morning. You already passed, right? We yes. should test in the morning for this entrance you exam into test. this. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah it's already done, right? Because yeah, yeah. the authority you have on your life, you already pay attention, right? Yeah. Amen. 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 So when we claim that, the only thing we waiting on for is a praise report. Amen. We're going to pray for you real quick, uh, again, because like I said, you never take her. This is our legacy. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we thank you right now, dear God, for 
these young lives. We pray right now you continue to touch their lives, oh God. And I'm praying right now you keep them guarded in the yeah, name yeah, of yeah. Jesus. Satan, we rebuke you right now in the name yeah, of yeah. Jesus. For the blood still prevails. Yeah, yeah, And we yeah. thank you. The blood still can heal all manner of sickness and disease yeah. and strife and anything that is in their lives. We bind the spirit of depression and confusion right now in the name of Jesus. We're praying right now, dear God, that as they are standing right here together, they continue to stand tall, dear God. These are leaders and not followers, dear God. Yeah.
everywhere we go to God in a positive way where the people will have a hunger, dear God, to know who you are. Yes. Lord, we pray right now, dear God, we pray right now against any kind of stress. Let us not worry about trivial things, dear God, but let us keep our minds stayed on you, dear God. Let us stay rooted in the word of God for it is the true living word of God. We pray also to God that as we go to our homes to God it will be a place that we can return back to to God better in the state that we left it. We pray also to God that as we go throughout this week to God as the word was spoken we will keep you first in our lives Lord. Thank you for being with us thank you for covering us in this service Father God we thank you right now for every man of God that went forth today. Continue to be with them this, them this Lord on this day to God. And also we pray for your continuous showing of love. This we ask in your son's name that everyone in the house say Amen. Amen. God the Lord on this morning. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You are dismissed. Have a productive day and a productive week.